y'all, it's VSG Sierra. And today, um, I'm gonna make an interesting little video. Little video, that's what I said. My accent got a little carried away. Anyways, I did this video as a reel on Instagram and it went really well. So I decided I was gonna make an extended version and kind of help explain things a little bit more since you only get 90 seconds on Instagram. Let's talk about it here. So without further ado, this intro is gonna be really short and sweet. <laughs> Let's get to the video, y'all. <laughs> First things first, I'm actually gonna go into my phone and I'm going to show you what I ate as a 300 pound person. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the picture right here on the screen for you so you can see. But for breakfast, I used to eat like four cups of cinnamon toast crunch and like three cups of milk. Like I would eat big bowls of cereal. Like sometimes I'd even go back for seconds. So it could be more or less around those calories, but that's kind of like the average I'm going off of. A lot of times I actually went without lunch, but on the days where I would pick it something in the middle of the day, it would be something like a muffin or a sleeve of cookies or something just super random that you would find in a cabinet from the junk food aisle, like literally. So I'm gonna go with a muffin here, which is like around 500 calories, which is a meal alone, basically. And then for dinner, I would say I'd have a huge bowl of pasta too, or like something like rice or granny or lasagna or something like that. It would always be carb-based though. So for these macros, I went with two cups of pasta. And then for dessert, I'd always have ice cream and sometimes it would be the big thing and I'd finish it all in one night. Sometimes it'd be a little one. But either way, um, for these macros, I went and I um, added 1.5 cups of ice cream and this is the macros this is what we have 3,800 calories 560 grams of carbs 100 grams of fat 230 grams of sugar 132 grams of protein and 58 grams of fiber so for anybody, those macros are insane even for a regular man who is just trying to bulk yeah I ate three times a day, right? But these are really calorically dense foods. A lot of the times I would still be hungry, but I used to like actually distract myself with work throughout the day. But a lot of the times I just didn't even know how to feed myself. So I would eat cereal in the morning to satisfy whatever and I'd eat a bunch of it all at once. And then I'd go the whole day without eating up until dinner time. And then at dinner time I was starving. So I went crazy with the carbs and the stuff that I actually liked the taste of, which was pasta and ice cream. That's basically what I grew up on. It was what I was used to and it was all I knew how to make. And really quick, before I show you what I eat in a day now, I just wanna let you know that I have launched my six week summer body recomp challenge and we start on May 6th. The best transformation is going to be winning a $100 Target gift card. And right now our community is at like 60 members. I'm aiming for like 100 people by May 6th because I really want to get like a good community going. It's looking really great right now. Everybody's kind of like sharing their stories and sharing, you know, introducing themselves and everything like that. And it's looking really fun. It's looking so exciting. If you want to join or you want to check out the website, the link will be in the description below. Make sure you check that out. And make sure you join us over there at the Summer Body Recomp community, okay? Hope to see you there and let's get back to the video. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on the screen for you what I eat in a day now at 178-ish pounds. There's a lot much more to look at just like off the bat, okay? So let's just get straight into it. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the little rundown here. For breakfast, I always love to have a coffee. I was never a coffee person before. I don't know what got me into coffee so hard, but I love it now. I always go for the, the lowest calorie option because Coffee itself doesn't really have a lot of calories in it. It's just what you add to it. The one that I'm dealing with right now, the iced coffee, is from Delight. It's a zero grams sugar added coffee. It's a mocha flavor and it's delicious. Alongside one cup, one little cup of the triple zero Greek yogurt by Oikos. And then I would have two spinach and egg frittatas. That would be my breakfast. Um, and sometimes I would even just have coffee and yogurt together at like seven in the morning. And then I'd eat the spinach frittatas at like 11. So I'd kind of break up my breakfast so that I'm not too, too hungry throughout the day. I am a snacker. I do like to snack. So I make sure that I make room for snacks as well. At lunchtime, I'll eat around a cup of broccoli. I'll have a full banana sliced on top of one rice cake. Those are like 30 calories. It's insane. I love them. With one tablespoon of reduced fat peanut butter, that, that rice cake peanut butter banana combo is like, that's my dessert at lunch. I'm like, man, I'm having some dessert at lunch. This is crazy. I love it. 
obsessed okay and then the chicken breast chunks from costco they're literally chicken nuggets you put them in the microwave for like three minutes with some broccoli and your meal is like literally done man man that's just for me i'm very very easy i love putting easy things together okay so the spinach frittatas they get microwaved the chicken nuggets those get microwaved the broccoli gets microwaved so far i've done no cooking in the day okay i'm a busy 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 gal okay so for dinner i'll have three ounces of chicken breast that's always meal prepped i always keep like four bags of different marinated chicken stashes in my freezer and then i'll defrost them and put them in the crock pot for the day and that's my like it'll stay in the fridge and i'll eat that with my dinner microwave some brown rice one fourth cup and then another cup of cooked broccoli that's my dinner throughout the day sometimes i'll have some fruit i'll have a plum or i'll have an apple or maybe a banana or something like that a banana is kind of high in calories so you might want to watch the bananas but don't say i said the bananas are bad for weight loss they're not they're just a calorically dense fruit compared to the other fruits that you can choose from eat those bananas sis. i love bananas that's my favorite fruit and i can't live a day without one so that's why it's in my lunch these macros in specific actually include everything that you see on this picture so yeah it's not like i'm choosing one of the snacks i'm actually eating all of these snacks throughout the day i'll have a protein shake at some point another yogurt at some point and then some fruit at some point it honestly feels like waking up i get to eat i get to have another snack i get to drink some coffee i get to have my banana and my peanut butter and those are it's like ugh, i'm just a happy girl it's very very exciting to eat for weight loss i never in a million years thought that I would still be able to eat because I was told before you know you can't have peanut butter you can't have bananas you can't have chicken nuggets you can't have sweet yogurts and coffees and things like that. yes you can looking at this picture here I would say my processed foods to natural foods I'm doing not too awful okay for someone who doesn't like to cook so let's look at the macros um, right at the top 1200 calories before you freak out okay let me you know what reboot rewind um, a lot of people love to freak out when they look at my macros but I just want to say this don't follow my macros my macros are not your macros for one I'm a bariatric patient so if you're not a bariatric patient my macros definitely aren't your macros and even if you are a bariatric patient you might be taller than me you might be shorter than me you might have more body fat than me you might have less body fat than me our macros still won't be the same make sure you find your maintenance calories and macros or whatever by going on the tdee calculator on google or just search up how to find my maintenance calories and then double triple and quadruple check so let's just get back to it i just poked my eye girl i just barely missed my retina 1200 calories 104 grams of carbs 31 grams of fat and 13 grams of added sugar 120 grams of protein and 20 grams of fiber these macros look pretty darn good to me okay the carbs are a little bit low so i try to stay under 30 grams of fat under 25 grams of added sugar and then i try to hang around 20 to 30 grams of fiber the protein looks great let's compare the two okay top 4,000 calories bottom 1200 calories 600 grams of carbs, 100 grams of carbs, 96 grams of fat, and 31 grams of fat, 229 grams of sugar, and 13 grams of sugar. 130 grams of protein, 120 grams of protein, 60 grams of fiber, and 20 grams of fiber. These numbers look way more impressive, and they are definitely going to help me hit my weight loss goals. Looking back at that, when I actually visualized these and I actually made the pictures for these, I was actually blown away. I was so confused. Why? Well, I wake up and I eat cereal and I barely eat a muffin for lunch and I don't eat all day until dinner. And yeah, I know I eat a lot of dinner, but it just doesn't make sense why I'm this big. I see so many other people eating way more than me. It makes no sense. But you wake up and you eat 4,000 calories every single day. It's gonna add up. Best advice, if you end up finding your macros after this video, split each macro up into three, okay? Because you're gonna eat three meals a day. Okay? If it tells you to eat 150 grams of protein per day, divide that into three and that's 50 grams of protein per meal. All you would have to do is build a meal. Okay, I like chicken. I'm gonna eat some chicken in this meal. I'm gonna eat some shrimp in this meal. Okay, that's the protein. If it tells you to eat 140 grams of carbs per day, split that into three, right? Hopefully you get what I'm saying, basically. You're gonna take each one, split it up in, into three, and for each category, 
find a food that fits into those macros, make the meal plan, go and buy it, meal prep, or just eat that. Eat those things and eventually you'll get the hang of it. You'll start figuring out some foods that you like that fit your, your protein goals and your carb goals and things like that. Okay, so I hope I kind of like made everything clear. I don't know why every time I record these videos it sounds like I'm just speaking gibberish. Hopefully it comes together. There have been several videos that I have completely trashed before even publishing just because I feel like they make no sense, but maybe that's just me. I don't plan these before I film them. I just put the camera up and we talk. Other than that, I feel like I've touched all the bases. I think we got it done in a timely fashion today. <laughs> Good for me. I hope you have a genuinely blessed day. If you guys wanna check me out on Instagram, I am here at VSG. Sierra and I live on my stories okay it's pretty chaotic over there sometimes I'll catch y'all in the next video make sure you guys spread some love with whoever bye